Entering Duke, I knew that I wanted to ultimately go to law school, but I didn't know what path I would take to get there. I considered majoring in economics, English, Latin, public policy. I was between all of those. One of the key elements to come with is a willingness to think about where the vision for yourself as a student is coming from. So that when you're asking questions about opportunities, you can also be thinking about yourself in relationship to those opportunities. Dr. OJ would sit down with me for up to an hour and a half at a time and discuss a whole wide range of issues and go into real depth. She wanted to give me a full range of the many options that were before me that I might not have seen otherwise. We have a particular way to sit down and help you think about an evolving story with kind of time and information that with those other resources, those new resources at your fingertips, we can sort of play a kind of integral role within that. Uh, Dr. OJ connected me with the people at Duke Divinity School who ran the Prison Studies program and allowed me to eventually apply into and, and start taking courses within that program. She also provided me insight into a number of different higher level issues that I was thinking about, about where to do research, about how to synthesize my various interests across a number of disciplines that other advisors had been unable to help me with. We're going to talk about things that are largely pie in the sky and you don't know how they're going to land and then we're going to talk about a series of very specific steps and plans in which if something happened how you could take advantage of it. I was able to pursue an independent research project in New Zealand studying restorative justice. That's an opportunity I never would have imagined I could have coming into Duke I and mean, it's one that really transformed how I viewed criminal justice in the U.S. after coming back. What I mostly want students to do is to get a sense of value for their work how they invest in it, and then how to speak about that investment with authority and confidence that no matter what the journey looked like, it was one of value. I think what I've been most impressed by is my DAE's commitment to getting to know me on a very personal level. She was always thinking one step further ahead about what I might end up doing after I graduate from Duke and how my work here might inspire that or move that forward in certain ways. I think it's never too early to set up an appointment, and I think it's important to try to cultivate a relationship with them throughout the four years because those opportunities are only going to multiply as you get older and as you have more and more experience in, in different fields.